Hi guys and welcome back to Thunder Toy. So I know it's been a long, long, long time since my last post, but then I think I'm back. Yes, I'm back somehow. So we're, I'm gonna be reviewing and unboxing uh, some new toys from McFarlane's. There are a lot of new toys from McFarlane's, and it looks like I'm back reviewing toys again unboxing toys some from McFarlane's Marble Legends and other brands so NECA perhaps so by the way we've got a new uh, McFarlane toys here so we finally got a Starfire where's the one that's missing from the Teen Titans okay as you can see this is the box of these uh, Starfire from McFarlane Toys. So this is the number 11 uh, McFarlane Collector's Edition. So I don't know why uh, Todd had to separate this Collector's Edition. Even though it, we only have this stand, which we, uh, I don't think uh, I'll be needing them or be displaying them. Or perhaps for other collectors to maybe be needing this, but I think majority of us won't be using this stand, this DC logo stand. So, uh, by the way, let's take a look at the packaging of this one. So, we got a nice artwork here, from, of course, from the comics. Uh, DC Rebirth uh, uh, Starfire, not Firestar, so Starfire. <laughs> so, we uh, have a problem there. So, fire star fire star fire so, so we finally got this uh, these hot hot toys and I also like the uh, black edition the platinum edition I don't know why Todd uh, releases those platinum editions and now they uh, are hard to find so and they are too expensive my god twice the price of this uh, regular uh, Starfire but I also like the black version if I'm uh, willing and if lucky I'll probably be getting that one so let's not take it for so long let's unbox this bad boy oh, this bad girl badass Starfire action figure mm -hmm. so these are the key content of the box so luckily we have a nice we got a flight stand okay thanks by the way for that Todd and we got this uh this DC stand and this uh specs for Starfire so we don't have that's it so that's it that's the only content of this box this is Starfire. Okay, now I'm gonna be removing them from the clamshell. So, guys, we got the figure, we got the stand here for this trading card. We finally, had a description of Starfire here, some details in case you want to read it. And We've got these effects, okay, for Starfire's hand. This effect here. Now let's take a closer look at this uh, beauty, full action figure from Todd McFarlane from McFarlane Place. So we've got a nice, pretty, beautiful head sculpt here. As you can see, I can move left and right and up and down. And for the oh, you got a nice shoulder here. You got a little shoulder, shoulder here, and the bus here, and the tummy, the abs. Okay, it's pretty nice. The articulation is great. As you can see, okay, and we can do some split here. Okay, just gotta you can do some split here. Okay, nice split here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I'm loving this video. Just hope you can stand. She can stand on her own. 
So let's take a closer look at the details on this one. Wow, totally loving this detail side. Okay, the head sculpt alone is sure fire. Okay, and we got a nice red and turning yellow here, turning orange, not yellow, but orange, I think. I mean, and yeah, yeah okay, this. Uh, so this is a new body sculpt for uh, for McFarlane toys. We got a nice long-legged starfire. So probably uh, we have. I think uh, Todd already completed the Teen Titans. Okay, given the uh, uh, collect to build or connect to build cyborg, which I haven't had from the. Uh, plush point uh, set hopefully uh, uh, Todd will be releasing another batch of that uh, uh, plush point set in a box just like what he did to the Su Suicide Squad I'm be uh, looking for that uh, cyborg I like that cyborg King. others probably have it but unfortunately I don't have it they don't have it so finally be completing this uh, Teen Titans Got this boy. Okay. By the way, gonna go back and gonna be going, gonna be doing some back review. Okay, for the other toys, for the other McFarlane toys. So I gotta catch up time, make up time for this uh, figure. Okay. So this is it. So okay, for the art articulation on this one, well, I kind of love it. I love the articulation here. Let's just see if, if she can stand around. Ooh. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just hope she can stand on her own to get the heels of this um, uh, Starfire figure. Wow, the details on it. This is what I love about the quality toys, the details. Okay. okay, let's see if she can stand on her own. And there you have it, she can stand on her own. Luckily, she can stand. Okay. Okay, nice job, Todd. Nice job, McFarlane Toys. She can stand on her own. Okay. Although the hair is uh, a little bit heavy. And now let's take a look at the effects. Okay. So these are the effects. Okay. Just gonna be putting this one on. What does. Uh, Starfire usually do okay. This one is for here, okay. It's gonna be so. I think we can create a lot of uh, poses for this one, okay. Just like this one, okay. Hold up. Okay, I'm loving this figure. Okay, let's just, uh, okay. Let's see. If this one's for here. So this one is just uh way too uh okay too big for these hands so okay there you have it but we can do a lot of pose here yeah. okay loving the eyes of this uh starfire figure the green colored eyes of starfire you see there we go probably yeah, really pretty Nice hats come, like I've said earlier. And do you a lot of posts for this one? Okay. So I think yeah. should have uh, just too big the gaps too big for this uh, star fire. Okay, man. Okay. But nonetheless, we can do a lot of poses for this one. Okay. The flying poses. Okay. Should have got an um, uh, alternate head for this one. With an open mouth, the angry mouth or the angry face, or this one, okay. But seldom my uh, father and toys give us uh, an alternate head, okay. So there you go, the slim body, the sexy body of the uh, Starfire, you can see. And it's time now for my favorite portion of the show the figure comparison, okay. Uh, who else shall we be comparing this one to? But to the 
uh, I think I'm gonna be comparing this one to another uh, collector's edition from McFarlane. Of course, the highly coveted uh, Wonder Woman. Okay, so I think this Wonder Woman is pretty, pretty tall. Okay, so you can see. Mm -hmm. Well, she's only a teen, okay? But uh, the difference is very big, okay? This Wonder Woman is really tall compared to other figures, okay? As you can see, there you have it. There you go. And that's why it's an other figure. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be getting... I haven't unboxed Raven yet, so probably gonna be reviewing it. And Beast Boy, I haven't unboxed him yet. Uh, guys, we got Robin. Well, we can unbox that or Nightwing. And we got Superman here. So these two dudes looks great. Okay, that's Batman. That's Wonder Woman here. Okay, these three. How about say we got a Batman? Let's go and get some Batman. Where's the Batman? Can't find the Batman here. Ooh. Okay, still no bat. I think Batman is hiding somewhere. Oh, gotta find Batman here. Well, we got uh, we got Nightwing here. Okay. Hey, this uh, this couple looks great. Okay. There you go. I think uh, Nightwing is uh, same height with uh, Wonder Woman. So if you're the big DC Comics fans, <laughs> you should be happy now. So this is the golden. I think this is the golden age of collection, collecting uh, DC characters or comics. Okay. So I'm glad. I'm gonna be thanking Todd for releasing this. Uh, this line of toys and I just hope that uh, Todd will be releasing that cyborg okay from that flashpoint set I'll just wish how I wish that they will release it okay so I'm gonna find the bats nonetheless okay it's time to rate this pretty pretty bad as Starfire action figure okay I just hope I can get some uh, this uh, platinum edition for this one at a very reasonable price, not uh, triple or double price for this one. I'm kind of like that. Okay, it's time to wait this one. Okay, I think I'm gonna give him, give her a, a. It's a ten for me. Okay, I like the color. I like the head sculpt. I like the articulation. Plus the, although the is not that much but it still is a pretty damn good effects for a starfire okay we all know that uh starfire doesn't have any accessories okay love the paint job the color Todd has done a great great job and one thing that i don't like is the Todd shouldn't have put this on the collector's edition stop making this collector's edition with this nasty uh, DC logo stand here, okay. Although it's great for some, but uh, I think just like I've said earlier, it's not for all, it's just great for displaying with this one, okay. It looks great, okay. So, if you're gonna get this one, you better get this one because this one is a gonna be a hot, hot, hot toy, McFarlane, and it's pretty hot, so just like Wonder Woman. Damn, these two are double the price, and same as Superwoman from that uh, crime syndicate wave, which unfortunately I didn't get, have any of it. I didn't get any, uh, so I'm gonna be looking for out it. Just hope also that I thought would be releasing a box set of that one. So that's it, it's a 10 out of 10 for me, and keep watching guys, we're gonna be unboxing more.
and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel Thunder Toys okay we're gonna be back more we're gonna be back more we're gonna be reviewing more and more toys so just uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and press that um, notification uh, that bell so that you'll be notified if I got a new post for this one for the some Marlene some new toys out there okay that's it guys and I hope you've enjoyed watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe so as my saying goes let the toy hunt begins and more toys to open bye bye guys and thanks for watching goodbye Good night. Okay. Hasta la vista. Okay. Bye-bye.